Hey guys, this is Lego Master 99 again, back again with another episode of the Chill Boy server. Haha. Alright, in this episode, we are going to be continuing our work on the villager breeder that we were working on last episode, and hopefully our little guys are still in here. I hope they're not dead. I hear them, so sounds pretty good. And if you're wondering, I did repair my pick. My pick was almost out by the time I finished that ridiculous railway thing but we have all three of our little boys in there which is perfect it's exactly where i left them and um yeah so let's just get right into this all right so for the sake of simplicity i think i'm going to build the villager breeder right here right in this area and it's not really that big and um if you guys are wondering i am going to be using a certain design i'm not going to be making my own because people have done that for me already so yeah, so we are going to be using Impulse SV's design, and I will put a link to that in the description of this video so you can check it out. It's pretty good. You can get 12 villagers an hour, which is pretty nice, um, excluding the nighttime if you sleep at night. So um, the first thing that we're going to do here is we have to clear all these trees out since it is a pretty, um, the footprint is decent, so we will have to do that. And yeah, we'll do some wood cutting. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so a few minutes later I have cleared out my um, little spot here that I need. And so um, we have to build, um, so the way the farm is going to work is that if you don't watch the video that I'll link in the description of the design explained by Impulse SV, um, there will be a farm here, a carrot or potato farm, and then there will be a farmer, and that's how we have a farmer boy over there. And then he will bring all that food to two villagers in a one by one area. And those will be the breeding villagers. They'll have beds. And then those villagers will breed every five minutes. Um, and then they will produce a little baby villager. And that baby villager will be escorted out of the system. And um, we can store those... Store. Relocate our young ones. There we go. That sounds more safe. <laughs> to a different location. But it can't be in the area. At least not the immediate area. Or else they won't breed again. So... Um, at least I think so, but since the mechanics have changed so much since 1. Um, the 1.14 update that I don't know if everything I'm saying is accurate. Um, but yeah, so that's the gist of how it works, and we're going to need a few materials, and I'm going to repair my tools as well, because as you can see, they're kind of dead here. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and I will show you guys what's going on in just a second. Alright guys, we are back, and it's only been a few minutes, which is nice. Um, and so I've laid out a little bit of a draft here of the size of the um, of the farm of the carrot farm so or carrot or potato farm we could use either or but um, this is the size of the farm and that's why I cleared it out like this and that's why I strategically put it right here where there is a um, space for a hole so that we don't need to dig out a lot of stuff down here since we do need to get in here actually I think it's one of the corners here but nonetheless um, I think this is a pretty good spot and I had to clear out one more tree over here and then this should be fun. So this whole area here, we just enclose this these, this entire area here, fill it with dirt, and then we need to uh, till it. So this will be um, pretty interesting. I think <laughs> I think this episode might be a pretty time lapsey episode because we have a to build this breeder. We have a few things that we need to do that require um, uh, like a lot of effort to go. Not a lot of effort. A medium amount of effort. A mediocre amount of effort. There you go to go into putting it together and one of those tasks is tilling the dirt and putting the dirt in and everything so we're gonna go ahead and do that now alright guys so I am super smart right now because as you can see I've cleared out everything filled in the dirt but I said I was going to till the farmland and where is the farmland it's um it's gone <laughs> and you want to know why it's gone because I'm an idiot and that's why because it's just disappearing since there's no crop or there's no water and I tilled the entire perimeter and then it all just disappeared so I'm kind of clowning for that it's fine it's totally fine it's okay we will figure this out so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the water sources actually 
and then we will till all the land. And um, I also just kind of wanted to put some durability on this diamond hose since there is an advancement here somewhere. About, um, where is it? It's here somewhere, trust me. Here we go. Completely use a diamond hoe and then reevaluate your life choices. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to use this entire thing and then consequently reevaluate my life choices. Okay, guys, so I'm coming back, making trips and trips again for the resources that we need. And we need some light sources, so I have some pumpkins here. And we're going to turn these all into jack o' lanterns after we make some shears. Let's see here. and then two more and there we go and you guys ready for this yeah jack-o-lanterns and boom just like that we have our light sources here these little jack-o-lanterns these are pretty exciting i like the texture of them but yeah now we're going to go ahead and use these for our lighting here let's see here so I also brought along some slabs, since that's kind of what you need. And I think we put a slab here and then some water so we can start tilling this area around here. I think it's in a 5x5. Five five. So we can go like this. There we go. Now an actual smart decision I made is to m mark where the, um, the end of the thing is here. And these torches, I don't know what these boys are doing so that we know where to till our land. And yeah, now now let's go ahead and put all the lights in and the water sources so that we finally have some farmland that just won't disappear. All right, so now I have dug out all the holes here for our little lights, and we just go boop, boom, boop, boop, boom, boop, 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 boop. Oh my goodness, I missed, no. And I'm dumb because these are regular pumpkins, not the jack-o'-lanterns. That's probably the third or fourth L I've taken in this episode. But you know what? It's totally fine. This is a super easy fix. We can just go ahead and take out all of these pumpkins here. And then replace them with the jack-o'-lanterns. There we go. And they look almost ex uh, actually exactly the same from the top. But one of them it's light and one of them doesn't. Now one of them goes here in the middle. And I, actually, I'll just put it down because I'm running out of inventory space. Just like that. There we go. And then there will be a composter underneath this or on top of this waterlogged slab here. And let's go ahead and put down a storage chest because I'm running out of inventory space. Um, let's see here. Let's put away all the unnecessary crap that I don't need. Um, and there you go. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, hold on hold on not quite yet I forgot there needs to be some not lag some water in these spots here So that everything is Going to be nice and hydrated since we need our um, Our crops to live right? <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm almost done filling up, what the heck, filling up the water holes here. And as you can see, we found a little spot under here. And then here's the the hole that was under here. Now the farm line's up here. Um, so yeah, it's useful to get water from here. This infinite limit, limited spring. <laughs> the finite infinite spring. There you go. And then we'll fill up our last little spot here. So now all we have to do is the fun part, which is tilling the land. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that montage of um, the Minecraft version of watching paint dry. <laughs> um, so all of the farm line here is tilled and it is almost fully hydrated. So let's take a nap here. Let's. I think we deserve a little bit of a nap after all that work. 
one. And there we go. And now we need to go ahead and plant the crops. So let's go ahead and grab our seeds. All right, guys, so um, there's a little bit of a problem with the fact of our um, seeds or the carrots and potatoes is that we don't have any. And he's just taking a bath right now. He's just chilling. Yeah, so we don't have any. And I think the reason for that is because I ate all of them. Because I never stopped getting hungry in Minecraft and actually in real life. Um, I'm super hungry all the time. But we're going to go ahead and stop by our trusty spawn village here to pick up some carrots and potatoes. Um, I'm not really sure which one we use. I think we'll use the carrots because we have most of those around here. So we have one patch. Um, I think there's another patch over here. Unless we only have one patch. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have one patch of each. So we have potatoes, wheat, and then carrots. So I think we're going to go ahead and go with the carrots because I like the color orange. And just like that, we are picking up some carrots here. And um, I think, honestly, this amount of carrots will do. That's... <laughs> can't believe we need them now all the we had so many spare carrots and then all go into the composter to make some bone meal well let's see here do i have any bones on me and naturally i have two bones and one bone meal perfect okay so let's see here let's go ahead and put these to good use and get some more carrots for our farmer villager that is going to be employed shortly Let's see if there's any more bones in here. Come on. Bones, bones, bones. I need your bones. And naturally, there's no bones when I need the most. So, this is perfect. Um, I think 36 carrots should be enough, honestly. We'll just grow them over at our... Um, oh my goodness. <clears throat> that was not a bad voice crack at all. But we will go ahead and grow them back at our place. Which I have instantly teleported to, which was super cool. You guys like that? Oh my god, I just ate one of the carrots. I'm so dumb. It's okay. It's fine. No big deal. And there's our little villager breeder over there. And as you can see, I did leave a little dent in our diamond hoe here. So I will reevaluate my life choices once that gets a little closer to going all the way out. So let's go ahead and plant some carrots here and not eat them. We're just going to go ahead and go in a super simple square pattern like so. Perfect. And then we'll just make everything as symmetrical as possible. And we have no more carrots. There we go. And let's see here. Perfect. So now that we have all of that, I'm going to go ahead and um, start building up the the walls for our breeder here while this grows. And I'll also grab some bone meal to try to speed this up. And we are over here at our little island here. And um, it's nice because we've grinded in earlier episodes and gotten stacks of sand. And I'm going to be using glass for the walls. So we're just going to go ahead and start cooking this stuff up because this is going to take a while to cook. So let's go ahead and put in some... Um, we'll say two stacks for now. We'll see what happens. And then... I also grinded to get all this bone meal, and we only have six ender pearls left. Wow, we really burned through those really quickly, didn't we? Let's see here, and there's no more in here. Wonderful. As usual, I'm always either fully packed with stuff I don't need, or I have absolutely nothing, or I have everything, or I have nothing I need except the one thing that I do need. So, perfect. In this case, the ender pearls. Let's go ahead and use all this bone meal here to grow all these freaking carrots. And just like that, we have a full farm of carrots. Look how nice this is. Look how aesthetically pleasing this is. 
<laughs> and I totally could have just let the villager, the farmer rather, our worker, um, grow these plants and then take care of it himself. So yeah, now that we have all this in, I'm just going to go ahead and start grabbing our materials and we will go ahead and start building up the walls on this thing. And just like that, I have magically acquired a stack of glass. Just kidding, I went over there to get it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wall up three sides of our farm. And the fourth side is going to be left open for our um, farmer villager to give his hard-earned carrots to the breeder villagers to um, feed them, basically. And I'm thinking that um, once we make it look nice and everything, we'll have a facade on this front of the thing, of the farm. So then we'll have our actual mechanics and the villagers in the back. And besides, our little cell is just a few blocks away that way, so it'll be absolutely perfect. So we will just easily go like this. And let's see if I can do it right. I'm going to mess this up somehow. But it's okay, because I have a silk touch pick. Because I grinded hard on this server because I was bored. Got him. See, I am a guy who is bored. You feel? You feel? You feel me? That was really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's keep going here. Boom, 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 boom. And we need to go up one more block after this. So there we go. We'll leave this um, open. And we need to cease. This tree will have to cease existing. Um, I apologize to the tree in advance. But it has to be done for the betterment of my minecraft world and nobody can say anything about it <laughs> i'm just kidding well this kind of is well i mean it kind of is my server but it's our minecraft world you feel kind of <laughs> but it's nice that the uh, i like the new texture on the glass panes here since you can actually see through it in the old texture there would be like stuff in the middle and it was kind of pooky all right peeps and just like that the walls around here are done and we also need some beds so i went to the end stronghold actually and grabbed all of the beds that are laying around there i'm sure if you look in the previous episode you'll see them oh my gosh oh my gosh that scared me oh my. i heard it i literally heard it and then i turned around and i was like oh shoot jeez <sighs> oh, uh, my heart jeez okay um so yeah, so we, um, now we just need to build the actual breeding cell where the villagers are going to be breeding. So the way we're going to do that, and I'm going to try to do it from memory, so we'll see how well this goes, but we need a couple pieces of glass and some trapdoors, and I have some trapdoors here. I'm being quite resourceful since I have most of these resources just laying around my base already. So let's see, here's something like that, and then a trapdoor like this, so that but then I can get through here for some reason but apparently villagers can't so we'll just leave it like that and then if I remember correctly we need some beds and we need four beds and let's see here I think there's a little bit of a bug though with how the, um, the villagers get assigned to the beds so for now we're just going to um, shoot I'm trying to remember how to do this so Hold on, I got it, I got it, hold on, hold on. Yep, I got it, I got it. I totally did not go into another world and look at it. So, the way this is going to work is that we're going to have a block. Shoot, I got it, I got it. Oh my goodness, my voice. My voice cracks are so bad. Let's see here. Um, actually, I think we need to clear out this entire area. So, I'm just going to do that real quick. We're actually, go like this. So, the beds go here, let me think. Boom, 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 and booming. Just like that. We are booming. And now, what happened is that we have a block up here. And then we have some trappy doors like this. And then we remove that block. And the trappy doors do not get destroyed. And now I'm stuck in here, but I have these wonderful little pearls. So th this is where our villagers are going to go right here in the middle. Actually, I'm going to break these two beds for now to establish our first two villagers that are going to be in the breeding cell. So this is the one by one breeding cell in these two beds. And let's see here. Let's go ahead. And now there needs to be a fence post under here. If 
I remember correctly. Let's see, so it's... The villagers are going to be here, so I think it's here. Um, or is it a block lower? I think it's a block lower. I'll check it in a few, couple minutes, but we have it just like that. And then what happens is that once they breed and the baby is born, the baby is born, and they'll fall through here, fall through the fence into a collection area. <laughs> So yeah, let's see here. We're gonna have to excavate this little bit of space here. And then we'll have some more glass, why not? I think we can go like this. And then like this, like that. Oopsies, this is, eh, I'm not gonna break it now. I'm too lazy. I'll get my silk touch pick in a second, um, like that. And then we also could use some slabs here, there, here, and actually over here as well. Just like that, and where'd that John go? There we go. Okay. And now we have our little setup here. So um, the baby villager will be born, and then they'll fall in here, and then we'll be able to um, transport them wherever we want. And also, so um, the villagers in the breeding cell need food to breed, and that's why the whole farm's here. This whole thing and um, what is this so the villager here is going to throw food to the villagers in here and all the excess food is going to fall through here and there will be a little hopper here in just a second but I'll build the hole right there and then it'll go into a little chest so it'll be all nice and dandy okay in a few short minutes later we have a hopper now and I am feeling kind of cheap on resources right now so I'm just going to go ahead and break this grab the chest and that's not gonna work, so we'll just go like this. Grab the chest, right? Yes, grab the chest and we'll put it over here and then we'll fill all of our garbage up right in here. It'll be perfect. Let's see, just like that, and there we go. So now, anything that falls in the here will go straight into our chest. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with a bunch of random junk that we do not need right now. Let's see, perfect, I know how to play this game, kind of. Okay, where is my salmon? There it is. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of the beds and other junk that I left over here. I have so many beds. I think I grabbed too many beds. I think that's a safe assumption to make. Let's see here. There we go. Almost done. This is what I do most time on the server, just messing around and just randomly moving things from one spot to another because I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So now that we have this all set up, I think, oh, actually we need a, um, a block here like that. And I'm also going to put a block here just for the time being so that actually, no, we can go, oh my goodness, it went in here. We can put a glass block here too for now, for now. So we'll just be chilling in there for now. And now this is the most fun part of the entire thing. We actually have to now move in our villagers. It's move-in day. All right, guys, so I was about to go get the villagers and I built up their little container here, but um, a little wandering trader scared the bejesus out of me, like usual, and they popped up out of nowhere. But look at this trade right here, blue ice. That is super rare, but it is also kind of expensive. But that doesn't matter, So that because that is super cool. So I am going to just... Um, borrow you for a second mr wandering trader um let's see here if i can put you in a hole somewhere thank you oh shoot you know what nah i'm gonna keep you here no don't get out don't get out don't do it nope 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 stay in there stay in there stay in there stay in it no they're just so resistant to Goodness. No, ah, oh, jeez. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Now they're spinning at me. This is not good. This is not good. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So we have successfully secured the bag for our villager or our trader here and his llamas. Um, I won't comment on what happened, but um, something happened that are no longer here. What the heck? Milk. But this is a really good trade, I would say. So I think I'm just gonna keep him down here, and hopefully he won't. Um, contribute to the trade cap or not the trade cap the breeding cap so we will see but now i'm stuck in here so let's 
find a way to get out of here. Um, we'll go like this, and perfect. All right. Just like that. Now, can I break this? Yes, I can. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and finally move our villagers in here. And it should be uh, pretty interesting. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward. As you can see, we have our little thing set up here. And what I'm planning on doing is just having... Because all of, all of our little workers right now are in minecarts. So we can just take the minecart up and drop it off in here. And then we'll just go underneath and break the minecart. So hopefully the idea um, sounds just as good in practice as it does in theory. So let's get our first little testificate number two or number three. I don't remember. You're just not number one. <laughs> let's see if we can get him in there. Actually, you know what? I think if it's going to go like this, I'll just break this then. Um, before we let him go, I want to make sure that we are perfect here. I think we're all set. Okay, let's go ahead and remove your little minecart. Bye-bye, Mr. Villager. You are, sorry, testificate. You are in there now forever. And never, and never, and never, and never. Until the server gets shut off. Which happens quite regularly, actually, which is interesting. Because the server computer always does updates because of Windows update and yada, yada, yada. So now we have testificate number three or number two. I don't remember which one is which. Because I can't tell them apart because they are identical, which is lovely. It reminds me of Star Wars and the um, um, Clone Wars. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No. <sighs> oh, no. This is not good. We have a... Um, we have a little bit of a problem here. Um, that did not go the way I would like, would have liked for it to go, and that's because those blocks weren't there. Oh my goodness! Oh no. And this is fine. This is totally fine. This is no, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. So a few minutes later, we have recaptured testificate number three, and it's raining. Perfect. Perfect. This is how I feel right now. No, I'm just kidding. But we've captured him in a little minecart. So let's go ahead and replant the lost crop here. And I ran and grabbed my silky boy so we can grab this glass and not waste it since we don't waste things here on this server, do we now? So let's just get this guy out of here if we can even get him out of here. I think we need a track because the farm line is a little lower than the rest of the stuff. Come on. Oh my goodness, this thing is not going anywhere. Um, shoot, this is fine. I just did not... Okay, this is interesting. So we're going to go ahead and... Then if I do that, he won't get up there anymore. Oh my goodness, okay. And this is totally fine. I just... Oh, okay, I know what I'll do. I'm going to do this. We'll go like this. And then we'll have a hole. And then this will connect back up to a rail. So look at this ingenuity right here. Come on, come on. I'm so close. Just... Get out of the farm. This is not your... Oh, does this block need to be gone too? Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Let's see if you'll get onto that rail. If I push him hard enough. And I totally missed. Just lovely. Let's... At least he's out of the farm now, though. I just love working with <coughs> villagers here. There we go. Finally. Back on even ground. And I'm going to fix this up and we will try that again. All right, guys, so a few seconds later, we have reclaimed our little testificate here, and we are going to try this again. So, okay, come on. And this time, we better not lose him, because that was that was almost a very expensive uh, loss right there. So just to make sure that he won't go anywhere else but where I want him to go, we're going to go ahead and block all this off. So let's... Come on. kind of scared him. Perfect. Okay. I kind of hit him. I apologize, but... Just like that, we have our villagers here. Lovely. Okay. That was not hard at all. And I hope I built this right so I don't have to change the how all this works. Alright, so now that we have our villagers here and they are sleeping, they have claimed their beds, which is absolutely wonderful. I will also claim mine and hope that they go back into their spot here. We will see. We will just have nothing to do but to sleep it off and hopefully they will do that or else we are kind of screwed but you know what it's fine come on please go back to your spot perfect all right they did exactly what i wanted them to do which is lovely 
And also the uh, the wandering trader in here is always tripping me out. Because he always drinks that potion and goes I'm sure you've heard it, it's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and drop off our composter here. Oh no, I broke the, the carrots, it's okay. I will start feeding all the carrots to our villagers here because they're going to need as much of it as possible to start breeding. So let's go ahead and put our composter down. Perfect, just like that. So now our farmer will stay a farmer once we bring him into our little station here. And I think I'll just have a little thing like this. And then um, we'll just go like this. And then have those rails. Like, this is super janky, I know. But it's okay. Let's see here. Some more rails. And then he'll just land in there. And then I'll break the rail, and, or the minecart, and he'll be all set. So let's go ahead and grab our last villager here. You've been on such a long journey. Look at your trades. You actually have pretty good trades. 20 wheat for an emerald. That's um, it's actually a pretty good trade. I might trade with you. It'll be a villager trading station as well as a villager breeding station as well as a carrot farm. So this is a multi-purpose farm here as we can see. All right. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and get ourselves in here. And now let's, I hope the villager won't get out of here. I tested it and I think he'll stay there. So we'll see. And there we go. And now he is off to his business here. Just like that. What a guy, what a guy, what a guy. All right, guys. So our farm, I think, or it's not farm. Our villager breeder is finally complete. We have our two little boys here. I added all the beds. Our farmer is hard at work planting his plants. And now the only thing to see is will this all actually work? I really hope it does, but... Um, we're going to see what happens. I hope he goes over here and gives some of his... Oh, okay, I guess not. So, we're going to see how long it takes before we have ourselves our very own baby villager. If we actually do it all. We'll see, though. All right, guys, I think something's happening here. Our farmer... I hope our farmer gives our um, citizens here some food so that they can happily reproduce. Are you going to do that? That's the real question. Probably not. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I'm helping our little farmer out here a little bit, and I you, you can notice that I did put a thing here. Is there another wandering trader? There is. I kind of want to see what trades he has, but I want to be very careful here. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Um, I'll check out your stuff in a second. Actually, I'll do it right now. Why not? Let's see what you have. Ah, he has a blue ice again. Maybe this other guy despawned. Oh, he's over here still. Yes, he's still here. Look at that. Nice. All right. But one thing I did want to note is that um, I checked in the farm, and I only planted carrots, but if you noticed, I have a potato here. So I think that's a bug because these potatoes aren't supposed to show up. And as you see, I have potatoes here, here, here. It's a mixed farm, but there's only supposed to be carrots here, which is, I found that really interesting. So I'm just gonna help this guy out. I think, does he put it in the composter to get potato? I don't know what he's doing, he's doing something. I'll have to look into that. But let's go ahead and donate some supplies here to our, I'll just eat this, to our villagers. We have a decent amount here. And they're picking it up perfect. Well, what's going on down there? Uh, that is weird. Is it bugging out? What's going on? I'm kind of confused right now. Pack you some carrots and come on. Do they end up in here? I am so confused. I don't know what's happening. They just need all the carrots to start breeding. Come on. Let's see here. I don't know where these carrots are coming from. Are there some in the hopper here? Can't. Um, it's just too far to shift. Let's shift in here. There's none of that. This is so weird. 
I wonder why it's doing that. Have some carrots, friends. Have some carrots. Guys, it's happening. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Oh my goodness. Did it happen? Yes, it happened. It happened, guys. Look at that. Yes. Ha ha ha. We have our very first baby villager. Yes. And he will stay right there. For now. Actually, I might redirect them somewhere. But we'll see. But I think that is actually all we have for this episode today. Because we did quite a lot in this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.